G'day, you beautiful, freedom-loving people. I love you. You may not have known, but there is a statewide competition in Australia to see who is the most offensive and is able to offer the worst insults to the beautiful unjabbed people. If you don't believe me, I do have a tape recording of a uh, conversation between Chairman Mark McGowan and Dictator Dan Andrews the other day. And, and Chairman Mark was saying, you've got to lift your game, mate. You're just not insulting the people of Victoria enough because I am the king of un insults. I call the, pe the, the, great, the great unwashed, the great unjabbed, we call them, I call them demented. I call them deranged, stupid, selfish, idiotic, cretins. They don't have a brain. They are dickheads, okay? Come on, lift your game, Dan. Well, little did they know there was some Queensland bureaucrats listening to the call. Hey, we can do better than that. So well, this is what they did. They wrote a letter to all the unjab teachers, education assistants, school officers, even school gardeners in Queensland who didn't take the poison, who didn't take the jab. And this is what they said to them. They said, we, you have lost our trust. Did you get that? You have lost our trust. Imagine that, walking into a classroom and saying to the kids, hey guys, our betters, my betters, well actually, they're not my betters, they think they're my betters. They say, we're not trustworthy. We're not trustworthy to be your teachers. And what's worse than that, that was the first thing, and then the second thing they said to them was that they were involved in inappropriate behaviour. Did you catch that? What goes through your mind when a teacher is accused of inappropriate behaviour? Pedophilia. These are almost equivalent to kitty fiddlers. How insulting is that? Shame on them! Shame on them! And look, it's not, that wasn't even bad enough. They, uh, they lost their ability to work and they were kicked out of the schools. They lost their income for months and months and months. And then they said to themselves, you know, we're going to rub salt into the wound. We're going to dock your pay. How about that? We're going to dock your pay. Why? Because, you know, it says in the good book, it says in the good book that the tongue is an indicator, it's a revealer of the thoughts and, and the feelings of the heart. So this is coming out of their heart, that they have a pathological hatred. It's no medical reason, it's all about punishment. And what I say to the jab teachers of Queensland, what I say to the teachers union in Queensland, how are you going to put up this? You should be going on strike in support of your colleagues. What's the point of being in a union if you're not going to protect outrageous, despicable behaviour against your colleagues? Well, what can we do? What we're going to say here today is we stand with the beautiful unjabbed of Queensland. We stand with you. We love you. Teachers are supposed to be a role model and they are a role model to their students by saying, you don't need the jab. We didn't need the jab. We survived and so can you. Thank you.